Hi, welcome to this tutorial on uh, balancing chemical equations. This one's quite a tricky one. Uh, this is you're looking at elemental iron um, being oxidized uh, by using vanadium oxide. I've put the oxidation states up at the top. Now you might not have come across the oxidation states yet. And it's not too important for this tutorial, but it's just to illustrate a point really because we've got one form of vanadium oxide and then on the other side we've got another form of vanadium oxide and they are different. Okay, so we've got iron oxidized by vanadium oxide, which is in turn reduced, it's called reduced, and I'll cover that in another tutorial, to give another form of vanadium oxide, a reduced form of it, and iron oxide, and you'll all be familiar with that, it's, it's rust, yeah, it exists in various hydrated forms, uh, and it's quite a, a brick red type of colour. Okay, so the balance in this equation is not straightforward at all. It's actually very difficult to get your head around, really. So I thought I'd tackle this one. So if we use the same method, we'll we'll put the elements up at the side. So we've got, on this side of the equation, we've got iron. Then we've got vanadium. We've got two of them. Then we've got oxygen. And I'll write up all the initial ones all from this equation here in green. So we've got two ions on this side. We'll stick to the levels so that we've got one vanadium on this side. And then if you look at the the two uh, compounds there, from this iron oxide we've got three, two, three, and from this one we've got one. And I'll just separate them just so you can see. Just separate them a little bit. Okay, so they're, they're clearly not balanced. You've got more oxygens on this side, you've got fewer vanadiums on this side, and you've also got one extra iron on this side. Okay, so the first thing I would do uh, would be to try and balance the iron, because that's easy. You look at your elements first. They're easy. You can just add one more, one more, and so on. So we want to add two, two ions to this equation to balance it. You simply just add another iron there, okay? And like I said in the previous tutorials, we don't tend to write iron out several times. We'll just put a number in front of it there like that. And that says there's two lots of those iron um, atoms in this case. Or we talk in moles. So there's two moles, two molar equivalents of iron there. Okay, so that balances the iron. So let's add that, let's add that in now. That's iron. That's our new one. Okay. So that's balanced. We won't tick it at this point because we might need to change things. Now let's have a look at vanadium. We've got two on this side and we've got one on this side. So you might think, ah, just add another one there. Okay. We add another one there. That's great because that'll add one there and that balances. That's iron and vanadium balanced. It'll add another oxygen there. But then you can see we've got problems. We've got problems because we started off with three and we've now got five. Now, Odd numbers are quite difficult to play around with, so I'm going to try and get it to even numbers. And then we, we can all balance so we're not putting halves in left, right and centre. Okay, so that's a bad idea. So what can I do? I can I can double this up, and that will give me four vanadiums. I can add four on that side, so I give three extra. But then that will give me four oxygens plus three oxygens. That's going to give seven and that's not really going to help either, because we've got a multiple of three on this side. So if you look carefully, if we if we actually put a number three in front of us, and we can multiply three times three is nine. Adding three lots of that will give us three lots of that, plus sorry, six lots of that because we've got the two there. So three times two vanadiums, that'll be six. Now we're getting to the multiples of three, look. We've got six oxygens plus three oxygens, that's nine. So even the oxygens are balancing. So we've got six vanadiums, six vanadiums. So let's add them in. An extra five there. One, two, three, four, five. Count the oxygens. We've added more oxygens now. So we started off with three. We've added three times that amount, so we've got to add another six. I'll separate these out a bit. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. And on this side, because we've got six slots of oxygens on this side, we start off with three plus one there. We need to add another five. So we add one, two, I'm trying to stick to threes, I can't really can I one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got nine times oxygen. I'll just write it like that because it's getting a bit long now. And nine times oxygen on that side. So that is actually well it will be in a second. We started off with two though, I've got to add these as well, haven't we? So we've got three times two is six, we've got another four there to add. Two, three, four. So we've got two irons on that left hand side, two irons on the right hand side, gives that a big tick. Let's choose black's probably best there. Tick. We've got six vanadiums on this side, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six on that side. Tick. That's good as well. Well, we know we've got nine oxygens on that side, and nine oxygens on that side. So the thought process there was first sort out the elemental iron. Then you have to get to numbers that are actually appreciable, and 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 you can, well, you you in your mind can appreciate. We had factors of three that worked really well for us here. Because we had three here, every time we added another uh, amount of this vanadium oxide, it would go up in multiples of three. Okay? So if we added two, it would be six oxygens. If we added three, it would be nine oxygens, and so on. We already had a three on this side anyway, so that was one multiple of the oxygen taken care of. That left us to think about this compound here, which had to be a multiple of three in order to balance the things out. If we put three in, then we don't have six, and it wouldn't work on this side. If we had six in, then we'd have nine, and it worked. So that's really been dominated by this value here, the oxygen, Okay, being a multiple of three. We would always be adding oxygens in multiples of three. And the multiple of three there, one multiple is already taken care of. So it had, this one had to be a multiple of three. So it's a rather complicated uh, equation. Have a go at it again yourself. Just get rid of all the values, write, write the initial equation down and see if you can repeat what I've just done. If not, if it's a bit too tricky, go back to some of the previous uh, balance an equation then come back to this later because this is actually quite a tricky one to get your head around. So that's it for now. Bye for now. <laughs>